films are part of popular culture and by definition anything that is accessible to masses public that is part of popular culture and films and they are main source of so many people so they too fall in the category of popular cultural product and as we have said about other cultural products these two deeply influence thinking of the people they are sometimes used for gender stereotype in pakistani and uh, indian movies women are presented as weak dependent upon parents husbands brothers even they can't go along to colleges and schools submissive and obedient and often helpless in skill this is gender stereotype stereotype one sided view biased view about women and this is common in both neighboring countries pakistan and culture they share many things in their culture because they remained one before 1947 they were one and the same country men are shown as active brave strong and patronizing women dance is an important part of every movie the active role according to some authors that is given in films to women is dance the show of their body and beauty this is their opinion we will see in dance women are presented as sex symbol object of desire okay and even films use dance and songs for attracting cinema goers this reminds us what we study in modules on gender order in the previous earlier modules we defined gender order how society divides roles and responsibilities among men and women to function smoothly this is called gender order this order is supported by a convention and then with the support of convention it becomes part of our ideology because we believe in this order we take it as something real as reality then your emotions and desire human desire when they also join gender order it becomes powerful we can't resist it mazamat nahi pehro se the last two elements emotions and desire they are supported by dance this is the reason to include women dance in films we all know that trailers of new movies are launched first right now the movies which will be released on eid ul adha their trailers are coming on television so trailers of new movies are launched first for what 
to attract viewers who expect dance with scant clothing. Their decision to watch the movie depends on how much songs and dance will occur in this movie and in scant clothing, not fully covered body. This is a form of projecting women body for commercial purpose. And this commodification, objectification, object share ko kehte hai, commodity share ko kehte hai. These are commercial terms. This commodification or objectification of female body is very common these days. We will discuss it again uh, when we will talk about advertisement, TV commercials and print media ads. We will see you over there. But remember one thing, dance and show of body often has no link with the main story of the film. All of a sudden, it is added to entertain the movie watchers, movie viewers. Films are also entertainment. In the first instance, why are movie viewers in cinema hall? For entertainment. This is their first purpose. What happens with it? That is secondary. What message they get? That is not visible. What they think about women, their body, their views, stereotypes, etc. It comes. It definitely comes in mind, but that is secondary objective. The main theme should be analyzed to say something more on films role in gender stereotyping. So if we want to analyze themes, messages, subjects of social importance which are covered by a movie, so we should Relate it with film's role in gender stereotype. Now we conclude it is a fact nobody can deny it that films project women as object of desire and put in roles which satisfy male gaze. Please read it, satisfy. They are put, they are shown on screen, large screen to satisfy male gaze. But it is not the whole picture. We should not evaluate films just on the basis of this. There is much, much more beyond it in a movie. Often it is the movie investor's concern. We should also take it in view that movie makers are investors. This is their business. They want to earn money, huge money from their product. So their concern and spectators concern. On one side, investors want money. Spectators want entertainment. So these are the important factors which we should keep in mind while evaluation of the films. Gender stereotyping is not their main concern. However, at a secondary level, at some sub-level, they can also shape, influence our thought. But this is not necessary. <laughs>